Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, collectors of adult age. It's me, Adavio. <laughs> I'm retarded. I, I finally figured out where my DC Multiverse Wonder Woman from McFarlane Toys was. Damn thing was in storage. Like two miles from my apartment. Well, that explains why I couldn't find it here, I suppose. I am going to unbox her today. Because <coughs> she will fit up on the shelf with the other McFarlane Toys movie figures for the DC Multiverse Justice League. Not 100% accurate, but that's where she's going. She comes with their lasso. Uncoiled and coiled stand card. There's a look at her there. Yeah. Alright. Typical stuff on the back. Beautiful picture of the beautiful Gal Gadot. There's a barking dog in the background. There's a barcode if anyone cares. Let's get her open. This is one of the many boxes that I won't be saving because I got too many effing boxes. But later on, I will take that card out and that stand out. I never have too many stands or cards. I'm going to set that aside. Boom. There she is. You know what? I'm going to... What am I doing? It's been a little while since I did one of these unboxings. I forgot that I've been taking the cards and things out. As I open the package. For shame. <clears throat> I said this card's got a ding on the corner. I may have just done that myself. Fat cardboard. I think these are fatter than the other cards. Oh crap, my chair almost fell over. Yeah, this is an extra fat cardboard on this one. Can you see that? Will it focus? Will it focus? Will it focus? Will it focus? Will you focus? <laughs> Stupid thing is determined to focus behind. I'm going to play with this until it focuses for you. Because I am determined on focusing it. Ah, the hell with it. Alright, put the card in the back here next to dark side. Let's get the stand out of here. <laughs> I've just eaten, so I've got slightly more energy than normal. Even though I'm sleepy as hell. DC stand. Let's get a little... Hmm. Over there. Now I can put it back in the box. And the box will be processed out later. Let's get Wonder Woman's lassos out of here. This is for Wonder Woman 1984. Yeah, Wonder Woman 1984. Got a nice golden lasso here. Coiled up. It's got, got a good skull. It's got a good color to it. I dig it. Let's pop the tape here and over here. 
The mostly uncoiled one is pretty cool. No bendy wire, which probably would have made it super heavy. But it's cool, it's flexible, got some texture on it. Good golden color. Put that over there. Bring the brightness up. There we go. Let's see, she is banded in with the plastic band. I'm probably just gonna go to cut here. If it'll cut for me. Bingo. Get rid of that. That's the only one on her, it looks like. So off it comes. Let's get her out of here. Out of her plastic prison. Oh, Frankenstein. <laughs> You know what? Plastic card surgery. Get that sucker out of here. All right. First look at a DC Multiverse McFarlane Toys Wonder Woman. Do I think she looks like Gal Gadot? Not entirely. Do I think it's a pretty face? Yes. Alright, sculpted details are pretty nice, she's got a bit of a sway back torso though. <clears throat> stand it all perky like. Does she stand? She does stand. Alright. See, she's got the butterfly joints in her shoulders. Get a little up and down. All the way around on both arms. You play with the joint a little bit, you get at least 90. Maybe a little more. <clears throat> Bicep swivels. Bicep swivels on both sides. Double jointed elbow. They're pinned, and you can see them, obviously, but she can rest her chin on her hand. That's pretty cool. Let's see, you got the typical McFarland toys, giant ball joint in the wrist. You can move it around and flex it wherever you like. Let's see. Do, do, do. I like the paint apps on the bodice. I guess you could call it that. I don't know. A skirted piece of leathers. Rubberized texture. Very cool. It's got a hook. You hang the lasso on it. Like so. It's pretty cool. But if you use both of them, she's got two lassos. Woo, Wonder Woman rocking it. Two lassos. I like the uh, wrap here on her hands. Pretty cool. The color of the paint, or the color of the plastic on her legs, is a little bit weird. But, and her legs maybe look a little long. But I'm not going to complain. Range of motion. Good splits. Up to there. And back to there. Mm, not really any pivot in the hip. Double jointed knee. Get to about there because there's a sculpt. Paint app on the legs is a little bit, weird, a little bit sloppy. 
And that strap shouldn't be skin tone. Same on that side there. So I can get there if you mostly do the one knee. To mostly do the other knee. Similar, but just a little lower down. Ankle joint, saying because of the type of ankle joint, it's not one continuous boot. It's like a shin guard and a sandal, huh? Which still has toe articulation. Doop, 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 doop. At least her ankles are facing forward. So that's cool. See if we can get her into an action pose a little bit here. Let's see if I can get her to stand in an action pose. Work with the rocker a little bit. Mm, let's see. Do, do, do. I'm just messing about. Hey, there we go. Get her lasso here. Do, do. Yeah, I'm a fan of the uh, first Wonder Woman movie. The second one's decent, but the first one was better. Wonder Woman 1984, is it? Eh, that's all right. Well, that's pretty cool, guys. I like that. I'm gonna call that a review of the. DC Multiverse Wonder Woman 1984 figure from McFarlane Toys. Peace.